Hi there, I am Andrew. Welcome back to Andrew Channel International. Today we play some Pathfinder and we start again from the Defender's Art where we just uh, spawned, we can say, after trying to defend the Grey Garrison. Now, I am going to speak to Irobet and then I am going to explore the surroundings and start uh, in a journey where we, uh, where we try to um, gather as much experience and, and uh, loot as possible to make my party very strong. What is your main objective? You heard what the demon said, they're going to desecrate the Wurston and blow up the wall barrier, okay? So we have to retake the Wurston and the capital. Allow me to ask a few personal questions. I am going to quickly um, show you the story of Irabeth. You will always be able to now stop and read if you like the story. Otherwise, I will just skip it and go into a little bit more action. All right, so now I think that I'm going to ask her Tell me about Anavia. Thank you for your answer. And tell me about the Go Watch. I have to go. And now we start our journey. So there is the possibility to go um, to the basement. I didn't explore this place, so I'm going to explore it right now. We're gonna see I spoke with all the other characters. I also sold some scrolls. I didn't record it, but uh, I just sold the scrolls that I'm not going to use. And if I go down, I find already what if, and I can grab some, some surrender this old elven. I am the protectors. Ha <laughs> ha! Got it again. How many times is that today? <laughs> so. We just find that uh, there is a tiefling hidden here in the bottom one part, okay. Hidden in this uh, dungeon, in this prison. Uh, I'm going to talk to him right very, very soon. Hey, Chief. Hey, Dreambo, come over here. I want to talk to you about something. I really like something Wolf. Really he's, a, he's a companion that we can hire. He's a thief, of Quit course. The decent people but he can worship. also cast some good uh, you, magic. Delvin, dum -dum. You were told to guard me, and I'm Why are you chains? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Don't get hung up on the past. He was caught thieving. I'll lay it out for you. Simple job. Thirty. <laughs> what a load of guff! He wants us uh, to chief. bring him out of prison. That's easy. I'm gonna speak <laughs> to you a bit. Count on you. Knew it the moment. <laughs> well, Jeff. Talk later. Let's go upstairs. And now let's speak uh, to you a bit about the guy that we just found downstairs, Volif. What if he's a petty thief from a gang of thieflings operating in Canabras? All right. Uh, go ahead and take him off. Perfect. We just... We didn't even have to win uh, any sort of uh, discussion. We just go to the guards and tell them that they can release him and he can join our group so we can free Canabras. Let's call it a desperate measure. We, we are hiring people from the prisons like they do in some other places in the world. Um, let's talk to the guard, Delvan. Go ahead, don't take too long. Well, chief, what do you got? Ah, you must be a smooth talker. You're sure to regret this. You're a bitter little... And now, chief, All right. now, she won't be at... Okay, we have also... Um, we have also unlocked a location, which is the Thieflings uh, headquarters. We, we, we can get a quest there. Let me see if I can spot something to steal here. Nothing. All right. So let's go to the, let's go to the tavern once again. And now we get out of here. Um, what if he's a level three still? And as you can see, we can cast some magic as a rogue. 
He's an Eldritch Scrawdle, so he's a student of magic, illusion, and uh, is also a rogue. So he can really he can really fight very well. I will give him a wrench weapon and uh, some magic. It's gonna help a lot. Okay, so now we are in the courtyard here. What is this? This place has been sanctified. You can protect the area. I think that I will go directly to speak to the Ironsmith. Look at this big guy. Ha! <laughs> they stole a gem golem. Anyways, okay, that, that's just a funny, that's just a funny uh, topic. I can use this uh, Presti Digi Painter Golem to uh, basically change the color and the texture of things. I think I will try this. I never tried it to be honest. Um, maybe it was included with uh, the last uh, enhanced edition. I think I'm not sure. Show Radiance to Joran. Do you recognize this word? Do you? Do I recognize it? Of course I do. I made this with my own hands. Does my brand see? Oh, Yanya, things have been thought with you, without you, but at least we have still got your sword. That's something. In battle, ordinary swords get blunted, they break, but sometimes a weapon can preserve. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm no authority on those things, but something like an echo of the deeds done with that weapon. All right. So, let's see what he has and let me sort again for price descending. Wow, there's really a lot of stuff here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sell, okay, now bike selling, it's something I will do uh, another time. I want to sell the masterwork. Okay, bike selling, including masterwork. And why am I not, I'm not selling also no magic okay i i did a mistake of course i have to sell everything what is not magical but the cold iron masterwork dueling sword this is something i can also sell because i'm not gonna use it but i'm going to keep something that i will go i will give to maybe volif so i'm going to keep a longbow i'm going to keep I mean, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of money that I'm going to get. Maybe a shimitar and a glaive. Deal. And now, what can we buy with this five thousand eight hundred? The living ram. It's too expensive. Wow, with the Living Ram, every time the wearer uses the uh, charge, is hitting the enemy with 1 to 6 bludgeoning damage. I, th this is massive. I need to give this to Sela. Uh, but first, I need really to buy something like this Bright Helmet. This is granting the wearer a damage reduction melee, but the wearer suffers minus 3 penalty perception skills. Yeah, but if I give this to Sela, she will get permanently a 3 damage reduction. I need to get now. Oh, come on. Let me see if I can make a deal if I sell. Yes, I can do that. <laughs> I, I'm left with 83 golds, but now my tank can use a helmet, which is reducing uh, the damage that she, she receives. Um, who cares about the penalty perception? And I think that now we are good to go and go for an adventure um before we go i think that yeah we, we should definitely sleep here camp you cannot rest here okay thank you but i need to camp actually all right and now that everybody has his spells in position we can go. By the way, I completely forgot to uh, rewrite the spells of Volif, so I think I will stick with the standard 
for now. I really have to check it, but I can't wait to use Arika in the melee fight, guys, because now that he has the finesse and uh, um, a flaming sword, I think he's going to perform a lot of damage. March on. And now we take also the new companion. Volif. Now we're five. Okay. Where are we going? The Market Square, the Grey Garrison, the Titling side out. We have to pass the Market Square if we want to go to the library. If we want to go to the Thieveling side out, we can travel one hour. And we have to fight. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see. We are the light. All right, the giant fly. Um, I need to change the disposition now because uh, Wolif probably would stay external and try to attack. Aha, uh -huh, he's fighting with daggers. Um, that means that he has finesse training with damage uh, with, with with dagger. Sneak attack. Yeah, he has also double. Uh, he's also fighting with two, two weapons. Fine. So uh, he's actually not using the bow. All right. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. No glory without risk. That was simple, right? Yes, it was. Stop. Now. That's that's gonna be the difference, uh, different composition. Now my ranger goes together with uh, Camellia, and he's getting supported by Volif. So this is going to be the uh, the disposition. The tank fighting defensively is in the first position. The ranger and Camellia are just behind. The thief is just behind, and then Lan slightly like three steps back using the the range weapon is quite strong now let's continue to the tiefling's hideout because this is going to unlock some missions and it, i as far as i remember it's a pretty simple uh, quest but we won't be able to solve it immediately we have first to take the quest and speak to this lady and now we see that there are five prisoners all right, brother Vol, if you got my message then, sorry couldn't swing by sooner. Swing by sooner, dear sister. All right, enough talking or else we'd be here all night. So we had a clear plan. We were going to wait for nightfall, slip into the shop, grab the goods and leave. Even if the neighbors called the guard, there was time to get away. But what happened? That bitch Irabet showed up almost right away. She knew you would be there. Somebody betrayed us. Who did betray the tieflings? The burden of proof lies on the accuser. Volif doesn't have to prove anything. Alright. Are you a city guard of something? I don't know how it is with you lot. But in the family, the highest rank is always right. And here, that's me. Volif, tell us a story. What happened? Alright, so now Volif is telling us that uh, he's not guilty. And uh, we have to find who was responsible for this betrayal. All right. Why would he have arrest her own informant? Go on, Volif. Please, guys, let me know if you prefer me to read more about the story or if it's fine for you uh, when I just give you the time to read. But the point is, Canabras is burning. Why are you scrabbling here instead of fleeing the city? And then I say, we will find a real traitor. And I get my apology. All right. So now, uh, we can't speak to the different suspects, but we can see what we can do. Let's speak to this thing. I can't buy anything here, right? Nope. There's some loot, some battles. 
scrub everything and then get out of here. Oh, lock ki lock lock picker's kit one. This lock picker kit grant its owner a plus one bonus on all trickery skills. Check, and this is big because I'm going to assign this to uh, Volif. Uh, due to the fact that I think that he should really have the highest trickery value, 13. Actually, actually, Camellia at the moment is even better, but uh, I think I should now uh, farm the skill of Olive and keep Camellia out of trickery. We have our mission. Let's now move to the Fallen Horse and travel. Okay, there are other enemies. Unless we don't have real big battles, I'm going to fight real time. Do not fear. Do not In this case, for example, the giant spiders. You see, they always approach. Um, they always approach and try to attack Sela. Uh, to make it even better, I think what I can do is to move even more. my um, second lines so that Sela is really alone in the first line with the shield the defensive fighting and the uh, helmet with the uh, damage reduction now let's continue there is a lot of fighting going on because the city is full of monsters and demons and this kind of other shitty things no. All, always always those spiders Wow. I like how, how Volif is performing those uh, sneak attacks because they're really they're really powerful against the monsters that have no immunity. All right, let's collect these things. And now we have to go through the market square. So we are going to travel. Easy. As simple as that. All right, Marauder, Marauder, Marauder. Okay, I'm going to fight now, uh, turn base. I want to check one thing. Okay, we will need almost 3,000 X point to XP point. Arik can perform nothing. We can do it. We try to attack the Marauder. They are conjurers, so they are going to evoke some creature. That's why we have to kill them first and fast. The archer, yeah, the archer is fine. Lan, strike. Me. Well done. Volif can uh, directly attack right. this murder. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Camellia attacked the other murder. I mean. I, I have the feeling that I have a strong party. The light take you. Now Arik can engage directly the enemy end. Yeah, our sword, the Claw of Jitka, is really burning, right? First monster killed. The archer now triggers an attack of opportunity. Lan can hit the Marauder Conjurer and he kills him. No, not really. Wolif can... Uh, can you charge Wolif? Yeah, this is an ability that he has. Not really. Yeah, I'm missing. Very good. Don't forget that when you kill a Conjurer, also he's... Um, uh, all, also, the, all the creatures that have been summoned by him die immediately. No, attack of opportunity and a little guy explodes. Okay, let's collect everything and get out of here. <laughs> Actually, I could have just used... Um, very simple real-time combat but we are going to see now a lot of turn-based combats in this city because this is just wonderful 
Look how big it is. Type urban. I am finished. This is the crack that the Scary provoked with his uh, terrible weapon. What is this? I never saw nothing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Brother Gort, is that you? So it seems that we learned that the temple of Ayomidi has a cellar and a passage that leads from it right to the Great Garrison. Alright, good to know. Let him go, even if he's a thief. We just learned about a secret passage. And now I think I can go into this direction, right? Uh, do you want to leave this option enabled? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, we have a dredge. Strike with all your might. Wait a minute, I have the feeling that I am attacking with Arik using... Because my moves are really slow. I have like the feeling them me. that I am attacking using the acrobatics enabled because he's slow and not. I'm not 100% sure Don't if I'm doing it right. Okay. Let's char let's uh, make uh, Sela charge so she will be in the middle of the battle. Okay. Now the Crusaders are hitting the dredge. Make every strike count. <clears throat> Wonderful. Missing, missing, missing. Yeah, they're missing because uh, Sela has an armor class of 24. Nope, not really. Uh, Arik is just a little bit slow. It's just little. <laughs> okay. Time to share your treasures. Sneak attack. Sneak attack number two. And that's done. I'll cut you wide open. I mean, Volif is uh, very strong, I would say. Very, very strong. It's definitely a very good. You've crossed the Asset wrong for the party. Button. Okay, this battle is done. Let's speak to this citizen. What is he doing here? Beat the bridge out of the debris with athletics. Who is who's doing this? Thanks, so awesome, oh, that was simple. So we managed to build a bridge that will lead us on the other side of the city. Before going on the other side of the city, to be very, very honest with you, I would really like to explore us. Oh my goodness. I would like to explore the city itself. Fighter, fighter, barbarian, what is this? A marauder fighter, alright. You won't survive me. Guys, I think I think that I can just I think that I can just uh, attack. Oh, here we go. Here we have a cleric. Here we have the Marauders. They are attacking this path. Cover me, all right? You are today's wow. Cool. Very good. It seems that this guy didn't see us yet. We didn't trigger the fight with him. Absolutely, we didn't. We didn't. And I, I just paused the game to check quickly um, and I recognize why uh, our Arik is so slow. It is because, okay, we are uh, encumbered. We are wearing the Crypt Rider's armor, which is slowing us down. 
and if I only take for example I mean that that's a very good one but if I had the leather armor my armor class would be 18 and the speed would be 15 and wait a second now now the creep raiders armor is just minus five I, I don't know why that happens but it seems that just changing the armor once I managed to uh, speed up my character. Okay, and then in encumbrance, um, let me try. Let me try to take away all what is not necessary. All right, maybe also this still encumbered, really. We should move. Yeah, it seems like, but I have no clue how I could do otherwise. Encumbrance is so slow. So low, sorry. Okay. Well, I, ne I think that I need to figure out something to increase the speed of my man. Holy. So, this is going to be a turn-based fight. This is absolutely going to be a turn-based fight with Wally attacking as a first. And Camellia, now she can actually uh, take the chance to throw a sleep. A sleep. Um, a spell. Here we go. Because if, she's, if she succeeds... 1, 2, 3, 4... Let's let's uh, target this rookie Moroda. So no, everybody, everybody. Uh, oh come on! No one, no one fell asleep. Okay, let me charge with Silla, so that she will be in the middle of the of the fight, and she will hopefully attract all the. Of the enemies. Ah, there is also a crusader fighting with us. Ay! Uh, that was bad. Okay, minus one. What if uh, could actually now also use a spell, but he has to face this Marauder. Okay, with a critical hit, which is wonderful. And now it's Lance's turn once again. Let's try to kill it. Kill him. And now Camellia once again. I am going to try to throw a block person, a whole person, to this very big and strong Marauder. So that um, Scylla can try to kill him. Now, I should have something called like Coupe de Grasse and I can try to use it on the person, on the murder, because he's on the status blocked. And it works. It's a critical hit, 17 damage. Wonderful. Now, Ari can try to hit. Nah, it doesn't work very well, but fine. Good that the archers are not focusing on Scylla because she's kind of weak now. Time to share your treasures. Nah. Oh, it, it explodes. It exploded. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. So Camellia now could charge with the number two. Uh, not really. We can just bring her here and help uh, attack the Rookie Marauder. Now Scylla could charge this guy here. Wonderful. Perfect. And now Vulif again. Wonderful. 
And now we have only one archer left and poor guy, I think that he's going to it's going to suffer a little bit now. Cool. Let's see. Can Arik switch to the heavy crossbow? He can. Because he's too slow to reach the murder, but uh, uh, he can use the crossbow. Okay. Well! It's been a nice battle. Let's see what we can pick. It's a, a lot of junk. Okay, so um, let me see if I can use any sort of magic to heal uh, Scylla. Okay, that's much better. And ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for staying with me in this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Now from the market square of the city of Canabras, I wish you a great day or a great evening. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving a thumbs up. We see each other next time. Bye.